right, so I'm back with another video and today I'm playing golf with um so we're gonna do a few challenge videos with, with Luke Donnelly. Luke is a he's just turned pro, it's your debut season of yes, pro? Yeah. Cool, so it's his rookie season now, he's playing the, the Euro Pro Euro Tour. Pro, exactly, yeah. uh, just got back in the country last night. Yeah. Last night. So he and I are gonna play, so we're gonna do a little three hole challenge, eighteen handicap versus pro. Like straight away we know this isn't gonna go well, but um it'd be cool even just to like to get a few tips from you or whatever, but also just to see how you set up your shots and and then we'll have a little chat about what yeah. kind of what, what your plan is for the season. Mm -hmm. You're obviously playing the the Open Qualifier. Open Qualifier on Monday, yeah. Cool, open Qualifier this Monday. So I, I'll probably keep up to date and checking with Luke throughout the, throughout the year, see how you're doing. And um, try and do these a few times a year just yeah, so you can like, check in on how you're doing and how you're mm -hmm. coping and how you're enjoying it. And um, look, we'll get straight into it. Yeah. I'll let you see off first. You show me the way. Perfect, um, perfect. And yeah, get into it. Anyone? So what's your, what are your, what's your thought pro process then? First um, tee, first shot of the day. First tee, first shot is literally the exact same as last shot. It's as important, so obviously you want to hit a good one off the first tee. Um, I take a bit more time in my pre-shot routine, um, take a few deep breaths, and then you just pick a shot and hit it. So that's literally it. There's nothing different to your first shot to your last shot. So you just want to try and hit it as good as you can, and that's wherever you want to leave it then, that's where I just want to try and do. Are you looking like down to where, where pin position is for your layout yeah. for your second shot? Yeah, or always, always looking at the pin because if the pin's on the left and there's plenty of room on the right hand side of the fairway, then why not hit down the right hand side? So it's always, yeah, thinking about the next shot while actually hitting your first shot as well. Okay. Well, with the wind off the right, then so it's level right. out. I'll probably just go nine because uh, it's, it's not going to spin coming out of it. Yeah. Uh, it's more likely going to release up, so I'll probably just hit a little smooth nine, kind of fight it in there. Yeah. So I've got an eight because I'm definitely not as big a hitter as you are. though came out with that quite quite okay yeah and um, it's very easy then just lose your balance there as well that's what it was it. kind of 73 73 so so you're up what like 50 yards short of where i am in two but you're here in one <laughs> that's the difference between i guess pro and 18. <laughs> <laughs> um so you're talking there about your misses needing to be yeah. planned or good misses so what what do you, what, you you take that into your account during drive or um, yeah drive approach shot and stuff like that obviously here I'm not really thinking about a miss because you need to, 73 yeah. yards I shouldn't be missing yeah missing the target should be hitting it quite close so it's when you're say seven iron up where's your best miss yeah in case you do hit that bad shot or sometimes even where's the best to leave it instead of you can have a 30 footer yeah for birdie okay it's more likely two put instead of having a tough up and down for par. Yeah. So you better off maybe take off half a club, give yourself that length of a putt, but you're giving yourself a chance of, okay. of, of getting out with a four. So it's, okay. it's all about just vis visualizing you wanna, your shots. You want to make birdies and you want to make as much birdies you want or you can, but it's all about trying to not make bogeys at the same time. Yeah. So try in 73. Great shot, you just pitched that in. You just pitched it in for ego. Yeah, sorry. Fuck's sake. <laughs> that was a brilliant shot. It was okay. It was okay. <laughs> Quite a nice yard, 73. So you try and just play it. Obviously, just short hole head release up, so. Nice, well done. Two isn't a bad start, so. No, that's, yeah, that's I'll take not, that. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> So like, what would be your first thing that you took from your first competition on tour? Like obviously it's your first um, year, so it's big big learning? Yeah, first first event well on the schedule. So it was in Frilford Heat, uh, it's where Q School was. And I did quite well at Q School. Um, shot two over four under. 
and I think I shot two over the final day to finish on level par. Yeah. Um, made got carried easily enough then in the end. Uh, but nice. first first event was back in Filford, and I didn't I didn't feel like I played bad, but I finished eight over for the event. I was coming back off, and I played with Stuart Gretton. He's another Irish guy yeah. from Tullamore. I played with him for the first two days, and he was leading going into the final round. Right. And I was just looking at his game compared to what what I did, and I didn't do anything different. Only he. When he missed the green, he missed it in a spot where it was an easy up and down. Where if I missed the green, I was missing it in places where, okay, you can get up and down, but you're bringing five into the equation. Maybe if you play a poor pitch, you're bringing six into the equation. So, and then if he had chances, he took them for birdies, where mm -hmm. I, I wasn't doing that. Pulled both so drives now. Struck them quite quite well though, which was which was a good thing. Yeah. It's just slightly full. So this is what Luke was talking about with Matt and Junior misses. He had a perfect iron, caught out that corner, and then I just pulled my drive a bit, but quite a bit. Hi. And um, so I hit. A, a wedge out there to get back into play. So what are you playing here? Uh, 156 flag. So I had a 46 in my hand but the wind is a bit, feels like the wind is slightly in off the right. Yeah. So I'll just uh, go back to a little small nine iron. Okay cool. Let's try a good one. Just try a little cut with one. Great shot again. So left pin. Perfect shot. That's what. A bit rude to hold out to water. Se what, set, that's what seven foot short right of the pin. Yeah, just slightly right, short right, yeah. Great shot. So like it's 109 here. So what 108 or so to the pin. What are you thinking from this kind of a distance? Um. Obviously, yeah. get it close. Try to get up and down. You got the wind coming in, you're saying off the right a little bit. Yeah, wind off the right, um, probably 56. I might just try to go down on a 52. Just okay. try to flight it in. Good looking shot there. Thanks. Yeah, good ball there. Thanks. That for me is like, I, I don't think I can do, I can hit better than that. Yeah, no, that was very good. That was a nice flight as well. It kind of fired it into the wind, hit a little cut there. So that was actually quite nice. Thanks. Thanks. Good five. Yeah. That's two up two two. Okay, so we're on the, the final hole of this match play. Yep. Um you were saying there the your your thought process before a shot in terms of playing your practice rounds. Yeah. And then like the last thing you want to say to yourself is don't hit it there because you're instantly putting that negative thought yep. in there. Pretty much. So like in the practice rounds, uh, for example in Scotland. Uh, the 11th hole was Gore's push to hold it right, so you don't want to go right. Okay, there was a rough left, it was fine. Yeah. So in your book, you, you might put a little X. You don't want to put a big X, so then that sends up. But if you put a little X, you've marked it down where you mark green where, where you want to go or mark yeah. red where you don't want to go. So then, on, obviously, on the tee, the caddy doesn't go, or right, don't go right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then instantly you're putting straight away a bad place where it's like. Yeah, look, plenty of room on the left. Find your line, commit your line, and we'll move on again. Yeah. So, like, for example, here, four. It's probably the tightest tee shot we'll have out here in Manchula. Obviously, yeah. 18 is tough as well. Um, you see, the fairway is wider on the left, 
walking on the right, but yeah. straight away you see the fairway. And but a lot of people come down and they see the little narrow gaps that we yeah. take through. Um, you don't obviously you don't want to be thinking about that. You don't want to be thinking about the rough on the right or the trees, trees left, in case for some people maybe the hazard here is short. Yeah. You just want to be thinking about right. There's the flag. The flag is a great line on this hole. Yeah. yeah. Always doesn't matter where the flag is. Always hit it at that flag because where the flag is today, it looks like it's middle left. So yeah. if you hit at the flag with a little draw, it's fine. If you hit yeah, at the flag okay. with a little fade, you're fine as well. Yeah. So it's all about picking your line. Like for yourself, it could be a bit more left, could be a bit more right. So yeah. it's all about finding your line, committing to your line, and at the end of the day, it's your own game. Yeah. So you just gotta try and believe in believe in your ability, see your shot, see the good parts. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to go into the bad parts, so you you don't put them in your mind. Yeah. Because yeah. then if you're over the ball and you're like, the last thing you said to yourself is don't go right straight away you're thinking it's all mental it's straight away right, yeah. you're going to get it right not really gonna or else you could actually really really go against it and go so far left yeah. that so you're in trouble you're again complete so opposite way. exactly yeah. exactly so it's all about see the fairway right i want to hit on the fairway nice that will come in a little left it's great perfect right that's what you're saying here as well, is that uh, that's just a great line for the pin. Yeah, like for yourself, if you want to hit a big fade, you would even further left. Like left yeah. You understand the game and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's all about finding your own line as a player. Beautiful hit. So there well, you were. My shot, yeah, you were focusing on on that big green fairy down there. Yeah. Um. So you. Can I just? Semi, just fringe. Yeah, good nice shot. Mm. Good long. Too much, yeah. I sure like you got the win anyway. So yeah, that was um, that was a really good f fun few holes with Luke. It's actually the first time I've ever met him, so it's good to hang out with him and, and see how his golf is going on and and um, see how he's enjoying the game and how he's enjoying being on tour and, and what it's like being being a rookie on tour and, and how the uh, the Euro Pro Tour is actually treating him and how he's finding it. Uh, we also got a good few little pointers from him, so that was nice as well. Um, yeah, the second he chipped in for an eagle on the first hole, part four, um, yeah, that's when I knew I was in trouble. He's a great player, he's a really, really, really solid player, and um, I'm sure he'll be, he'll be going places when he's older, so it's great to see that kind of talent come out around Juliet, but um, listen guys, as always, thank you for watching this video, I'm gonna keep this one pretty short, um, it's great fun. If you guys are enjoying these type of videos, please subscribe, give it a share if, if you want to, and um, comment below on what you'd like to see from me and what you think you'd like me to do, and um, even how you think I'm getting on, if you've any tips for my golf or whatever, just uh, comment below and I take any and all criticism.